Hey there, I'm going to take you on a whirlwind tour of the new um, block hours feature, or prepay hours. This is a way for you to track um, hours your customers have pre-purchased and you want to automatically deduct as you use up that time. So head over to admin, check the box enable prepay hours, and we're good to go. And now you need to set up an inventory item so you can sell the prepay hours. So um, we'll make an item here real quick. Okay, I just filled this in real quick. Um, first, this price is going to be what one of these hours costs. And we're going to tell our customers they get a, maybe a 20% discount when they buy, I don't know, 20 hours from us. So we've got a product set up like a labor item. And there's a new category called prepay hours once you turn on that feature. You must use the category prepay hours. And you want this to be in an increment of one hour. Um, so don't put like a thousand dollars here and make it a package. Um, it has to have a quantity on the invoice. So um, we'll give this a sort order pretty high so it shows up high in our list. We'll create this product and um, let's go make an invoice and add this item to it. Okay, I very quickly filled in a lot of these fields. We're going to create a customer. We're going to create an invoice and we're going to sell this customer um, maybe 20 of those hours. Prepay hour, 20. And as we advertise to our customers, if they buy 20 of these hours, maybe they get a 20% off. So we'll just add a 20% off coupon, which we show in our coupon video. There's a discount. And um, we're going to mark this as paid. Okay. So now on our customer list, we can go to this customer and we're going to see a new section, prepay hours balance, and it's automatically at 20 because they just bought 20 of these hours. Next way this is hooked up is when we have a trouble ticket for this person. So they're asking us to um, come out and look at their printer and we're going to have a field tech and um, None of that stuff matters, just that we've got a ticket. We're going to skip the intake form on this one. And, okay, so we've done some work for this person. I'm going to put an update on here. Boom. And now we need to add some labor. Now, any item that has a category of labor will trigger this. Our default labor item has a category of labor. Um, let's say we're adding two hours to this invoice. Doesn't matter the price. Or sorry, to this ticket. Um, so we booked a couple hours, and now it's we're done. It's time to make the invoice for this. And we've got an invoice, and hey, it says zero dollars. Okay, so here, labor is a great thing to bill people for. Is our inventory item description, and then. It automatically added this hyphen applied to prepay hours. So you have an invoice, you've got a line item, and you've got a record that two hours were used, and this person owes us zero dollars. And now, if we go look at this customer, prepay hours balance is down to 18. So it has automatically deducted a couple hours. Now, if something changed and we were to delete that invoice line item similar to how inventory items get restocked um, this customer's balance should now go up to um, 20 hours again all right 20 hours that is how the prepaid hours feature works